Alright, Angel Island, Act 1. Angel Island Zone, Act 1. So, we're playing the classic Sonic Free Stage in Sonic Advance 1, eh? Well, it's not technically the same stage. But it is old enough to pass. Wait, hold on one second really quickly. They did have the enemy of Sonic Advance, uh, of, um, they do have the Catacillar Jr. from, from Angel Island, at least. And they have the Buzz Bomber, I will though, I don't think they're actually in this, in Angel Island. I mean, this game is trying to replica Sonic 4, without trying to be Sonic 4. There's so many bomb pits. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Most importantly, you need to avoid the bombless pits, which is actually all over this zone, if you're not careful. You run this way, and you go this way. And you jump up here. Gonna make these at fast-paced speeds, and then we have Indiana Jones like barrels or or like gigantic balls that are just falling down. Climb all this up. Here. Gosh darn it, I missed that. There we go, made that. Now, one of these things you gotta run in a certain direction so you can uh, make it move to one place or another. And once you do that, then you'll get somewhere, yeah. It will also roll back to where it was, too. But also, the area I took just slid in nowhere, so... Is there another way around? Can I just fall down? I would gladly do so. Without even falling into a bottomless pit, I just don't know. But this game has forced me to go this way, so... So my options here are very open, especially with the spring. Just looks like I don't need to go that way, I need to go this way. Over crud. Like, Tails could easily get through this. Even Knuckles can get through this. As for Amy, well, he has her hammer, of course he can make his way in this. But I just can't make these jumps. Like, I think I need to grab this. Then I need to make them here. There we go. And of course, they have the little Sandopolis little uh, sand things that you can jump up to. Now, Sonic can grind rails, but also so does Amy. He can grind rails too. And the reason why and I think the reason why they did this is because they're trying to go for the Sonic Adventure 2 aspect because they're trying to keep like all the characters' elements. And like Amy was a multiplayer character in in the uh, in the action race. And she can grind rails, so they're trying to make her character exactly the same. Without losing the, without losing the same controls. So yeah. Hey guys, this is Close Commentary. 
Um, now, you may be wondering what's going on. Well, when I was trying to try to get footage for special stages somewhat, I was having a lot of technical difficulties, and I forgot to turn on my microphone during this. Um, I just realized that after I beat in a special stage, so... Yeah, but, um... Anyways, um... I'd like to talk more about... about Sonic Advance while we're at it, and, uh, this may be something that, um, might actually help, in a sense. As you guys know, Sonic Advance was basically the game that was ported to... was basically the first out of a few games that were ported to Nintendo, when Nintendo wanted to work with Sega, starting with Sonic Adventure 2, for the GameCube. And since then, this is where this game popped out. Now, although I would say this right now, um, Sonic Advance, as a game of itself, um, I would prefer playing it over Sonic 1, but I would not prefer playing it over Sonic 2 and 3. I pretty much stated that over a earlier part. That jump right there is ridiculous, but, yeah. Now, um... I'm trying to think what else I could say, because, like... This is just a little post-commentary segment that's gonna be used for this segment of the episode, and, uh, a special stage that I also forgot to turn on. Um, by the time I reach the special stage, that's when I realize my mic was off, so I have to turn it back on, and... Yeah, so after I hit the spring, we'll be going back to live commentary, where you'll just see me hear me screw up a lot. Now, Sonic... Although, like, the characters control ways such as Sonic Adventure 2 were... Like, Sonic can grind rails, Sonic can perform the Sun Assault. And, uh... And Amy, um, he can perform hammer, and he can perform hammers attacks, as well as do a high jump, like Sonic Adventure 1, but she can grind rails, like Sonic Adventure 2's action race and Sonic 2 multiplayer. So basically, in a sense, like, the characters are very similar, but we all know that they should be different. Is Sonic Advance the best-selling game? Mm, not really. But then again, it's not worth, like, getting your money off of it. I would consider it as a- I would consider it as a little thing that you could take to your school. On the bus. At lunch. Anywhere else up from above. But... Yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say for his post-commentary section, because we're about to hit a gigantic... Because we're about to hit a spring. Oh yeah, I'll see you back in live commentary. Commentary. Alright, we're back at Act 2, guys. I also noticed that my mic was off, so I had to post-commentary over it. So, sorry about that. But yeah. Anyways, now we're gonna be fighting the boss. Which is Knuckles! What? Not you again. Alright. You're not gonna do this again. Okay, that's it. Ninja Ranger Power now! Yeah. Wait, what the heck? It's a robot! He's not real! What the heck is this misery? Why is he constantly throwing missiles at me? You gotta... Yeah, basically what happened... This isn't the real Knuckles. He's a cyborg. Created by this evil genius. If he can't convince Egg... If Eggman cannot convince Knuckles to go against Sonic again, he might as well just create his own Knuckles. 